Friday. I don't know what spirit about to talk about. I think they're about to talk about love, okay? Because they had me pull out all sorts of love cards. And um there's putting it in my head like, okay, put singles on one side, relationships on the other side. Cause there's always people like, oh well, I don't even have a boo type shit while they're watching. So like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, I love it. I absolutely do. It's greatly appreciated. Please do it all the time. Okay, so what y'all want to tell the singles? Look. Oh wait, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended, Masters, all beings of light only are welcome into this reading. Please give the Pisces here collective the best and most accurate information at this time. I'm way ahead of myself, okay? Hold on, I'm gonna pause it because I need to go get this Palo Santo too. Oh, and there's <laughs> some kind of fucking construction going on downstairs, so I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but if you do hear it, I did a sound check, so it sounded like you should be able to hear me over everything, but anyway. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so look, um, this is Seraphim Seraphel, okay? That's what came out for the singles. And it says, tune in to the divine will and open to higher illumination. It's like if you're single and you're trying to find somebody and you're not done finding something in you on this journey right now, then spirit's not going to give you no partner. I mean, yeah, of course, there's certain things that a partner's going to come along and heal that you can't. I mean, you can heal everything just with you and with God, but there's some lessons that your real partner, your divine partner comes along and teaches you and they like support you in a different type of way. But you have to start giving that type of love that you're expecting to yourself first. You can't just go out and just find. That's why, like, I don't know. You might even be, like, running into, because me and my cousin was talking earlier about how, you know, you it seemed like you just be running into, like, the wrong dude. Like, and then they be acting regular and shit and cool and, like, they're the dude for you or the chick for you. And then <laughs> they just flip it, change, nigga, motherfucking transformer on your ass. And you don't know what to do, but that person is not for you, okay? When people are not for you, they would just remove themselves. You don't even have to, they, or they're going, your guys and ancestors, they're going to create a tower moment so that person could act the ass and remove you from that pretty much. Look, Archangel Gersisa, it says, <laughs> you ready? It says, create a solid spiritual foundation and be in service to the planet. So some people are supposed to do their divine um, thing, you know, their divine, what is it, purpose, okay? Their divine purpose, they're supposed to do it with their partners, and that's why, you know, it's just, everybody's on a different path, okay? Don't compare your path and, where, and finding a partner in a certain amount of time, you know, based on what everybody else is doing, like, don't worry about that. Just worry about building your foundation and walking in your divine purpose and going with the flow, and that's how you attract love, okay? You don't have to do nothing extra. Okay, so what about for the people in relationships? So, in relationships we got, I mean, for the relationship people, we got Archangel Raziel, seek and you will find, be a wise one. So be very wise in your relationship, okay? Um, if you're with your divine counterpart, like, it's really important to, like, choose your battles and communicate clearly and make sure you're not just being fussy or, you know, picky about little shit, like, the point is for you guys to really get to know each other, to see each other's like issues and quirks and find a way to be okay with that. Like, or, you know, compromise is what I'm hearing. It says, Archangel Jewels, align with the highest and go with the flow. You guys got to go with the flow too. You have to go with the flow of your relationship. Like, okay, 
it's it is the perfect relationship at the same time it's not gonna be perfect there is no such thing as a perfect relationship okay if it was just that fucking easy then it wouldn't even be nobody left i mean i think women outnumber men so it would probably be some some single bitches out here but it would <laughs> people would be taken up if it was that easy like if i could just go to the store and select my perfect partner then you know it would be done but it's just not that easy so if you do find yourself in a partnership that's blessed with communication and love and attention and you know as little a one or two fights that's something to be grateful for you should just be grateful and if you feel like it's not right then get out of it but you guys work to get the okay so we're doing <laughs> we're doing the you and them layout because they want me to put this one in the middle with archangel mariel it says manifest for the highest good and work with pure love. That's what the singles and the people in relationships have in common. Like at the end of the day, you should be manifesting for your highest good and the highest good of your partner. Or you should be manifesting the highest good for yourself to attract the partner that you're looking for. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm done with those. It was like, we're done. <laughs> we're done with that. Day. Okay. Gratitude spirit. What else? Look, it says we're all just stardust. Okay, so single people. You have to accept people. Like, people are not going to be perfect. Make sure that you, if you are looking for someone, because sometimes you can get in your head a little bit when you're dating and you can project, you know, your fears of what this relationship might be because it's natural. The old things and the old ways and relationships that you've been with because those are the lessons that you learn those are the things you went through to teach you what you want from this person and what you don't want from this person so of course they're gonna bubble back up but when they bubble back up don't let them um scare you out of out of investigating look at <laughs> It say let them go with the tree. Let them go. Let the let the old shit burn. If you if you're thinking about it, it should just be like, ooh, thank God he not doing that, or ooh, I, I'm I'm so glad I don't have to expect that thing again. Because if you spend any time being afraid of it or worried about it coming back, that's exactly what it could do. It could come back to your ass because you focused on it, you put energy into it, and you manifested that thing back to you. That's why you got to be really careful what you're thinking about. You know, because it's even focusing on something that you don't want will bring that very result, okay? Because you focused on it because it's something that you're afraid of, okay? Um, never doubt your worth. You are extremely worthy of the perfect partner, and you are attracting the perfect partner. The more that worthiness and love you put into yourself, the more likely you are to attract a man who's going to appreciate the worthiness and love in you okay they're gonna just see it and it should it shouldn't be a hard thing okay now couples it's time for healing not war so if you have had um issues with your divine partner you have to forgive them okay you should always be forgiving yourself and forgiving others that you go through things with because everything that you go through is a lesson there's something to be learned from it okay it makes you who you are the things that you go through they shape you like that's why people seem like they always remember like the bad things and negative things that happen to them but you got to think before you judge when you're in a relationship okay because you that's why it's important to communicate because you could be just looking at them and this could even be like a new partnership that you're just in and you feel like it's right but you still like question it a little bit um just think first before you judge. Think about it. Tiptoe over. I mean, don't tiptoe because I don't really I don't really do tiptoe. Like, I'm going to bring it to you. If I feel like it's something, if there's some sort of issue or problem, I'm going to just be like, you know, babe, what is it? Okay? Like, you got to tell me because I can't I can't do um, the space. The awkward silence is just weird for me. I refuse to do it. So I'm really good at communicating. But some people are not. Okay? So before you judge them and go off what it looks like, from the past or from your old connections, just remember that this connection is different and that you should talk to God and really mull over the things that you want to bring up in your relationship so you don't cause a no whole bunch of tiny problems. But you guys are just building up and up and up, okay? <laughs> it, uh, always be expecting the best, the best outcome. Look, because this is your justice. Justice is coming. 
this is your justice. This good, happy relationship is it's your payback. Okay, look, gold. You don't need anyone to fix you. You're perfect just how you are. And you have to look at your relationship like that too. Like, yeah, okay, we got our quirks, we got our things. I mean, you know, there's a thin line. I mean, there's a big, thick ass line. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's a big, thick ass line between these fuck niggas and these divine kings out here, or these fuck bitches and these divine kings out here who are willing to put the time and love into you that you deserve, okay? And they work with God too. So it's they're gonna it's gonna be what you need. It's gonna be something that's sent to you. Um, could be some changes you're thinking about making, maybe the way that you are communicating, because I feel like that's really what I'm talking about. Gosh, I feel like they just, <laughs> they just made me spit out a whole bunch of shit. I was talking real fast. Okay. So let's do these angel cards. All right. I'm back to the single side right now. I hope this is not too confusing the way that I'm doing it, but this is how they want me to do it. So for the single spirit, please. Now the joy of my world is in Zion. So separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So if you are not single, but you're not happy in your relationship, your side is the single side <laughs> because you could be about to break up with somebody and then like go on this whole healing from that. Or maybe you could have because some people separate in their relationship and they be then healed and be completely over that person, but they still hanging around that person on some code, codependent type shit. You should look into codependency. But because sometimes like once you acknowledge things, that's how that's when God can heal them. So like I didn't think I was codependent in my relationship until I looked it up. But I was no longer in the relationship when I looked up codependence. But it, that was something that I needed to research to see those patterns so that I could avoid running into those patterns in love again. Because I'm I'm on the single side, too. <laughs> OK, I haven't have found my divine partner yet. Well, he ain't found me because I'm not looking. I am. I am attracting anything you chase. It runs away from you. So make sure you're not out here get putting off desperate energy because. Um, you know, that desperate energy, it puts off a certain vibration that will actually scare niggas away or it will actually scare chicks away. You like, what am I doing? I'm doing everything right. I, I dress cute. I took the bitch on a date. I took the dude out. Like I paid. I. It doesn't matter. It's the energy that you kick it. If you kick in the wrong energy to that person, it's not going to create a love connection. And if you force it, then that's how you end up with those karmic connections. Um, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so like I said just spending time with yourself it they went on top of that let go tree this this one with the burning tree like just let it go and make sure you're forgiving yourself and forgiving anyone who's hurt you from the past like and you might be like, I did. I, <laughs> I used to do it too. Like I did. I don't know what they're talking about. And then that thing will boil up and I'll be like, oh, okay. Like I didn't really know this was an issue. Like I thought I was done with that, but it'd be like that sometimes. Look, it's unrequited love. Sometimes it's just unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Sometimes it's just not yours. Okay. It's just, Period. Sometimes it's just unrequited love and you just got to learn how to let it go and move on to the next. <sighs> but it's all a part of keeping your heart open and going with the flow. If spirit sends you someone to date or someone to talk to, even if it's just temporary, God sent you that person for a reason. People don't just come in, your, in and out your life for no reason, okay? It's always something to be learned or something that you need to pay attention from. Okay, now, relationship side. This is true love, okay? Whoever you're with or whoever you just got with or you about to get with. <laughs> but it's the relationship side, so it's somebody you with, okay? It's true love. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. So um, be more playful. That's what I was saying when it said think before you judge. Be more playful. Be more lighthearted with this. Don't worry about it and focus on you know the past and the things you ran into if you do that you will chase it away it says to recapture rom romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine because if you want to have a lasting relationship with someone you have to be friends with them you have to fucking like them okay you should like them or are you gonna be the one that's miserable look it says love yourself first you love yourself and you know what you're expecting what you want 
It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Like you already got this person. You might even be doing extra shit. Like, cause you don't, you're like, oh man, I don't want to mess this up this time. You can't mess it up. The most thing that's attractive about you is that you are, you have respect for yourself and you know what you want. And that's, that's what attracted that person in the first place. So they're always going to listen to you. Some of you, it could even have been someone that you were with and then you broke up. But or it's it's a past life love. It says past life is returning to your life. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So some of y'all could have got back with like an ex and then it was like the right time. Cause sometimes you be with people and it's not the right time. You just y'all gotta learn shit from each other, go away, grow, and then come back. Look, it says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so your love life wouldn't even be what it is if you hadn't taken that break away from people <laughs> to really get to figure out like what the hell's going on i mean some people get blessed with a divine partner at a young age like they just get together they kiss one time and then they be together all through <laughs> elementary school high school all the way graduate and go on to be together now singles what you are attracting is going to be the one. It's going to be the one for you, okay? Um, it says you're, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So the single side, you could have already met the romantic partner that you seek. And it's just not time for them. You're still attracting them. You're still working out things. They're still working out things. Y'all might have to get to some certain place in y'all divine purpose and what y'all working on. But very soon, you will leave the single side and go to the romance side, okay? That's what's going on with y'all. <laughs> okay. Damn it. The song saying, love me back. Love me back. Love, love me back. <laughs> so you're going to find somebody to love you back. Maybe a Virgo. Okay. Let me see. It says you need more time to heal, okay? This is for the single side. You need more time to heal. Um, you tried to trap and smother me. So in the past, you was with people who tried to like trap, smother you, control you. And those are the, the things you're healing from. Okay, you are free and you were trapped <laughs> with someone. You know, some of you were trapped in yourself and you were trapped with people who were never really sweet to you. This is always sweet to you, but it came out in reverse. Like you've been through the bullshit look, but some of you are headed for like a twin flame union. I'm, uh, twin flames are um, much deeper than the shit that's on the internet, okay? Don't believe everything you see on the internet. It's not true that they can't put anything that isn't true on the internet, okay? It says, you the baddest out here, so you need to um, just take time, build, build up your confidence, be more happy with, with who you are. When you get to that point where you're like, whatever, I don't, when it, do, it doesn't matter to you if you find that person or not, then that's when they show up. Like, yeah, haha, -ha, you thought you was going to stay free out here, girl? Bye. It could be a Pisces, okay, that you're going to meet, or you could be a Pisces or a Virgo, too, or an Aquarius, okay? <laughs> Um, but whoever you're attracting, they're going to be great, okay? They're not going to be insecure. This says I'm insecure as fuck, okay? It came out in reverse. They're not going to be insecure. They're going to know who they are and where they're going, and it's going to be up to you to decide if you want to go with them or not, okay? Cancer came out, too, so you could be a cancer. They could be a cancer, but it says I'm focused on self-love. That's the energy you need to be in. I'm focused on just loving me and doing what I want to do and advancing my divine purpose. And, you know, anybody who's not with that, then they can just go away. But I don't see why it would be a problem for anyone for you to keep on improving and becoming more fabulous. Okay, so for the relationship side, I'm done with the singles, guys, okay? <laughs> um, you're already attracting this love that, you, that you're trying to attract, okay? Just keep on doing that. For the relationship side, somebody could be having some mommy issues, okay? Maybe your mommy, I said your mommy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe your mother, like, um, 
I don't know. Maybe your mother put up with things that she didn't have to put up with in the relationship and it kind of carried on to you. Maybe those are some general curses you can stand to break. I mean, I'm sure that you're looking at it differently or you probably would, wouldn't be watching this. You know, this is not really for like, <laughs> like weak spiritual mind, like weak minded spiritual people. You know, my channel is really kind of for people who are like me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know what it is and you still could be like just like okay whatever what's next you still want to experience the world even though you ran into some some bullshit so just heal from that heal, forgive the people that have influenced the way that you experience love okay you need to manifest the love that you deserve i mean you have manifested the love that you deserve my bad i was still in single mode this is for the romance for the relationships for the relationships you have manifested the love you deserve the person you're with is the thing that you want it is what you ask god for so don't um because some people self-sabotage when they get afraid look this person is always like let's run away together <laughs> like i wish we me and you just me and you could just go could be a capricorn <laughs> okay um or you could be a capricorn or you guys could have a lot of capricorn in your chart it says we were married in a past life okay um so you guys already really know each other or you know you guys could be virgo cancer aquarius pisces too let me see yeah um maybe one of you guys have maybe one or both of you guys could have like slightly narcissistic traits it doesn't mean you're narcissistic but avoid being narcissistic is what i really want to say i don't want to i don't want to point no fingers you know what i'm saying but just be authentically you that's the key okay I, that's where they're going with this narcissist card narcissists they hide behind a mask and that's the good thing about this relationship that you have found you're not gonna have to hide behind a mask you can just be who you want be who you are okay this person loves you for who you are so just be who you are just let it flow naturally and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work and it's not the person we, we that is supposed to be there okay but this is golden okay <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here that's fine you don't have to be afraid of this connection or you're at a place where you just figured that out okay it says I pray for you and for you so they prayed for, <laughs> they pray for you and for you like they pray to keep you and they pray for the good of for the betterment of you Sagittarius Libra it says um that one wasn't for you <laughs> look so I'm not done with the singles I was wrong singles look new love okay and even if if you're that could go I'm putting that one in the middle because it's like it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship with somebody that you loved before this is a new love now and if you're single then this is a new love now <laughs> I feel like everybody has to just release all of the old things of the past that can have you in your head sometimes and just enjoy it okay have fun build a friendship stop worrying about building a relationship don't look at it like you know because it's like a job interview sometimes when you when you get it with people right but I mean it should be nowadays either that or it's just like completely there's no vetting at all like they just don't care what it is you bring in or what you offer or nothing because they're not really in they're not in it for the long run okay but it's okay to trust these energies that are coming to you because you've been doing what you're supposed to be doing as long as you've been doing what you're supposed to be doing connecting with god staying spiritually strong building up your spiritual wealth you ain't out here being broke you know treating everybody like shit and passing out negative lower vibrational energy you don't have to worry about nothing you don't have to worry about fake people showing fake love Okay, I see Leo too, and you don't have to be afraid of being hurt again. And it, <laughs> like, it's so too late for your exes and people that that miss you. And then the next card said, "I'm in love with you." So, love, love, love. Okay, this is how I look when I be talking about love, because I'm one of those people that love love and shit. It says you're the coffee that I need in the morning. You're my sunshine in the rain when it's pouring. Once you give yourself to me, give it all. I'll be, I just want to see how beautiful you are. You know that I see it. I know you're a star. When you go, I follow no matter how far. If life is a movie, then you're the best part. Yo, that's the best way to end that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>